Here is an overview of the steps to use MATLAB plugin for MPLAB IDE. Select Tools MATLAB Simulink from the main menu. The MATLAB Simulink will then be added to the main menu. Select MATLAB Simulink Specify Simulink Model Name to specify the Simulink model to be opened for code generation. Open up a project, either fresh or an existing one. The code generated will be added to this product. Click on Generate Code. The plugin will generate code through Real-Time Workshop Embedded Coder. Click on Import Generated Files. The plugin will include all the generated files into the active project. You can edit, if necessary, and build the code generated. You can program the hex cough through MPLAB. You can also do source level debugging in the same way you would do with handwritten code. The screenshot it shows the MPLAB IDE with MATLAB Simulink menu. It appears when the user clicks on the MATLAB Simulink in Tools drop-down menu of MPLAB IDE. When you click on Specify Simulink Model Name, it will prompt the user to choose a Simulink model to open. If this is the first time you are working with MATLAB, you will need to launch MATLAB and create and save a Simulink model separately so that you can specify that model name in the plugin. Once you choose a Simulink model, MPLAB will launch MATLAB and open up the Simulink model that you specified. This model can then be modified and saved. It is mandatory to have a project in MPLAB IDE before you generate code from a model. First launch MATLAB. Click on Simulink icon as shown in the picture. This would open up a Simulink library browser. This will have default Simulink blocks and different block sets that you might have bought from the MathWorks. Make sure that Embedded Target for Microchip DSPIC appears in the Simulink library tree. If it does not exist, then you need to install it or add Path of Installation to MATLAB Paths. Refer to Device Blocks Deployment Details .doc. Click on Create a New Model in the Simulink Library Browser. This would open up an empty model file. You can populate this model file with different blocks from Simulink Library and create an application model. Populate your model file with required blocks. You can use generic Simulink blocks which support fixed point data types along with microchip blocks. Generic Simulink blocks can be checked for compatibility by clicking on Signal Attributes tab in their respective masks, the pop-up GUI that appears when you double-click on these blocks. If data types like uint16, int8 are listed there, these blocks can be used with the microchip block sets. This diagram shows embedded target for microchip DSPIC contents in Simulink Library Browser. These blocks can be pulled to the model that you are creating. Double-clicking on these blocks after placing them in the models allows you to configure these blocks. You can use all generic Simulink blocks which support fixed-point operations. Blocks which have input-output ports need to be connected with appropriate source syncs. For example, for UART Transmit, you need to connect a block which outputs a UINT16 or int16 data type. This picture shows how to launch real-time workshop configuration dialog. Once the Simulink block is designed and ready, you need to do some configuration settings for each model. These settings are used in configuring generated code from the respective models. Here we have view of real-time workshop pane of the real-time workshop configuration dialog. You have to choose DSPIC 33f.tlc as system target file. You can choose this file by clicking Browse button, which is circled in the picture shown. This will pop up a list of system target files that are registered in your MATLAB installation. If you'll be using MATLAB plugin and MPLAB to build, erst.tlc also can be used as a system target file. Generate and make file option can be unchecked. 
Generate code only option can be checked. If you would like to build this model without the help of a plugin, you should check the generate make file option. Generate code only option should be unchecked. Here we have a view of solver pane of real time workshop configuration dialog. Since microchip block sets do not have simulation capabilities, you need to select fixed step type discrete no continuous state solver. All other fields can be left to default. Here we have a view of the hardware implementation pane of real time workshop configuration dialog of MATLAB release 2007A. Select Custom Device. In versions R2007B and onwards, there will be an additional field where you can choose Generic. Select the number of bits as followed. A care, 8. Short, 8. Int, 16. Long, 32. Native word size, 16. Byte ordering is Little Endian. Emulation hardware, you should check none. This shows how to generate and import files from a Simulink model once you have configured real-time workshop settings and saved the model. It is mandatory to have a project in MPLAB IDE before you generate code from a model. Generate code generates code from the model specified. Import generated files imports all the files that are generated from the model into the active project. All other dependent files are compiled and object files are archived and imported as MATLAB Core.A library. By clicking Generate Code and Import Files, both operations of generating files and importing them into the project is done in a single step. Add library files, lib p33fj-cough.a and lib p33fj-elf.a to the project and build. To trace arrays when the MPLAB Real Ice in Circuit Emulator or MPLAB Sim Simulator is the debugger, select Array Snapshot. Tracing array variables occurs on a halt. The data can then be loaded into the MATLAB workspace. Use the Data Capture Facility of the MPLAB Realize in Circuit Emulator. Select Data Capture. This data can then be loaded into the MATLAB workspace. Here we have a view of DSPIC Options pane of the Real Time Workshop Configuration window. This will appear only if you have chosen DSPIC33F.TLC as the system target file. These settings will be effective only if you build Simulink models without using the MATLAB plugin. Select the PIC, select the target DSPIC device here. Default is DSPIC 33 FJ 256 GP 710. Optimization parameters. You can enter optimization switches here. Leave it to the default if you are not sure what to use. Compiler options. You can enter the compiler switches here. Again, leave it to the default if you are not sure which options you need to use. Enter Include Library Path. If you are linking from any specific archives or libraries, you can enter their path here separated with white spaces. Header Include Path. If you want to include any headers specifically, you can enter their paths here separated with white spaces. Here we show how to directly generate hex or cough files from your Simulink model without using the MATLAB plugin. Hex cough files generated can be imported into MPLAB or any third party programmer and programmed into your target device. That's all you need to use the microchip device block sets and MATLAB plugin for MPLAB IDE. Let's summarize what we have learned in this session. We have outlined the steps to use the microchip device block sets and MATLAB plugin for MPLAB IDE. You can use these independently or together. We have demonstrated how you can use them to make your application development faster. 